<clears throat> How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Testing, testing. The human torch was denied a bank loan. No, I'm just kidding. I love that movie. If you don't know the movie, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to find out yourself. Freaking awesome. Um, today, we're going to talk about backed. B A K K T. And why it is freaking going to. If you're holding any cryptocurrency, especially the top 10, 15, hell, the top 20. But in my opinion, really the top 50, because there's one in there in the top 50 that's integral in the bat you know uh program or the bat uh i guess you call it a a law that's going to be passed so we're going to be talking about backed and why it's important in cryptocurrency and why it's going to make it freaking explode and it's possibly going to make some people rich a lot of us talk about lambo we're going to talk about this all right i'm going to try to cover everything it's going to be tough because i like to ramble make a few jokes you may not like them, don't give a damn, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'll see you in a little bit. What's up everybody? Like I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about BACT, B-A-K-K-T, all right? What is BACT? The crypto solution for institutions. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to, I'm going to preface this by saying I am not a financial advisor. I, I do not invest based on my opinion. You invest based on your own research, but my opinion is what we're going to cover and what I think, and not just me. This is what a lot of people think. It's so freaking exciting. And you just don't know for all of us who've been in this game for, you know, there's a lot of people in this game a minute, you know, but me, I've been in this game for almost two years. When people were, you know, it was behind closed doors. Nobody really was talking about cryptocurrency. No one even really knew what it was. If they knew what it was, they only knew about Bitcoin. But Bitcoin was just the catalyst. It was the it was a technology behind Bitcoin that really got a lot of people excited. And then they started making all these what they call altcoins or forks of Bitcoin. But here's the deal. What is backed? All right, let's read this this. This opening statement before we get into what back is. All right. All right. Here we go. Now, forgive me in advance. I read at a fourth grade level. So <laughs> it's a joke. But sometimes my reading is a little jacked up because I get so hype. So forgive me. All right. Here we go. Ever since the cryptocurrency market began falling. And at the beginning of this year, people have been saying that institutional money was coming. We've all been saying that and we've been waiting for that because that's. That's the, the bridge to mass adoption, which is what we want, because that's going to make all of our holdings explode. So, all right. They have been praying, hoping and wishing on a star that large, that large financial institutions were about to jump into the cryptocurrency markets and stave off the losses. While these prayers have have landed on death ears for the past eight months, things could be about to change with the entry of a company called BAT. Yes. We have an institutional money fatigue at the moment, and some are immediately skeptical. Hear us out, though. This is what they're saying. All right. What is backed? Backed will be an open and completely regulated digital currency offering that will be powered by, check this out, Microsoft, Azure's cloud solution, the secure open source platform will connect a whole range of cryptocurrency users from investors to merchants and consumers, as stated in their original press release. That alone, micro freaking soft. Are you kidding me? That's pr if there's a larger if there's a larger software uh, producer or th th there's a name that's more you know, respected in the world period in, 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 in money in just period Microsoft, bro. That's freaking Bill Gates. They're getting involved in cryptocurrency. Now, when he makes that leap, now, let me just say this. Do you know who, who Bill Gates, one of his best friends are? The, the ultimate cryptocurrency hater, the king hater, Warren Buffett. Just know that. 
All right. Just leave it at that. OK. All right. Quote, BACT is designed to serve as a scalable on ramp for institutional merchant and consumer participation in digital assets by promoting greater efficiency, security and utility. Unquote. All right. BACT is an initiative by the Intercontinental Exchange, ICE, which is a leading operator of global exchanges and clearinghouses. This immediately adds a great deal of legitimacy to the new offering. They also mentioned in the press release that they would be partnering with a number of other enterprises that will help them create this ecosystem. Apart from Microsoft, they have also partnered with, here's another monster, Starbucks. So you got Microsoft and Starbucks partnering in this BACT. I thought it was a, honestly, I just, just started doing some research on BACT. I don't know if it's a law or it's a business. I don't know if it's a business law, whatever the hell it is. I'm, I'm all for it. All right. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but just Starbucks alone, I think they do something like 4 billion cups of coffee a year, 4 billion cups of coffee a year. Uh, daily, I think they, uh, you know, what did I look at? I think they said they do 8 million cups of coffee a day. Yeah. 8 million cups of coffee a day. Was it a day? I think it was a day. 8 million cups of coffee a day. So think about that. And, and I don't know if you, obviously you have. I don't even know why I'm saying this. Everyone's been to Starbucks. You probably went there this morning. And most of the people didn't pay with cash or what we call fiat. Did they? They paid with their phones. They had a little barcode, right? And they pull it up. They're trying to be all trendy. And beep, right? Well, guess what? That's what they're doing right now. This is exactly what they're doing. This is the partnership. This is the bridge with cryptocurrency. So now, now you're not just paying with your little gift card. You're going to be paying with a barcode that's connected to your cryptocurrency. So Starbucks is going to decide which cryptocurrencies they're going to accept with this backed program, which is freaking awesome. Definitely going to be Bitcoin. We already know that. But could it be other altcoins? I believe so. All right. That's just my ramble right there. All right. Let's keep going. Yes, that is right. You could eventually buy your Starbucks latte with cryptocurrency. Now, there was a billionaire that already had said this. All right. That billionaire's name is Tim Draper. Do you not recall? Tim Draper went over that. He said eventually everyone's going to be buying their Starbucks with cryptocurrency. And people laughed at him. Now, Tim Draper is a huge hedge fund manager. He's a, 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 a uh, an angel investor now for an, it. Well, it was all kind of venture. He's a venture capitalist. So he used to, you know, you know if he, you had an idea, he'd give you money for it if it made sense. Right. Well, those are traditional businesses or dot com businesses. Well, he is 100 percent in the cryptocurrency scene. So this is coming from a guy that, you know, has invested a lot of people's money, has invested in a lot of people's businesses, has made a lot of people money, made money for himself, and is now preaching the gospel of cryptocurrencies. All right, you got Patrick Byrne, you got Tim Draper, you've got, uh, I forget the other guy's name, Ballhead dude, uh, another hedge fund manager, billionaires. They're all diehard cryptocurrency fans, and this is the bridge. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know if it's going to happen by the end of the year, but I know by the first quarter, maybe the second quarter of next year, Oh my goodness, it's going to be huge for everyone that's hodling. So how do you coins get more coins now? And I'm going to mention a couple coins that that make sense that could possibly be the bridge also that's going to connect everyone to the backed company, to the backed law, to the backed program. We're going to mention that. All right. That's another ramble. I apologize. All right. The ecosystem will also include federally regulated market as well as a warehousing options. This means that users of the BACT platform will have some form of government regulated custodian service through BACT. Whatever, that's fine because you got a lot of, uh, you know, guys that are in the stock market, uh, you know, they're untrustworthy of cryptocurrencies. But this will make them feel a little bit better about it, especially if they say if they hear, oh, your money is going to be regulated and your money will be backed. Now, I, I would imagine. By the federal government. So that's what it says, federally regulated. So that makes them comfortable. Whatever makes them comfortable enough to accept cryptocurrencies and make it mainstream. That's all we care about. Let's be honest. All right. All right. 
Bact is also jumping right into the Bitcoin futures market. However, unlike the current futures mark offering, excuse me, these will physically set these will be physically settled and not cashed and not cash settled. All right. The physical Bitcoin will be stored in their secure and insured warehousing solutions. I, I, I need you to hear that again. Let me read it a little more clear. Bact is also jumping right into the Bitcoin futures market. However, unlike the current futures offering, these will be physically settled and not cash settled. OK, they're not going to settle your future. Uh, you know, whether it be dividend or you, you cash it out, they're not going to settle it with cash. They're going to settle it with Bitcoin. Do you get that? What does that mean? Well, if you're dealing with companies, you're dealing with the stock market, you're dealing with trillion dollar industries, you're dealing with people that have got hundreds of millions of dollars invested. If they invest in the Bitcoin or they invest in the Bitcoin futures and they want to cash out and settle their account, they're not cashing out for cash. They're cashing out for Bitcoin. So they're going to have to buy up, excuse my French, a, no, I'm not going to curse, a buttload of cryptocurrency and physically store it in insured warehousing solutions. So if they're going to buy it, bam, there's the institutional like injection of money. Can't wait for that. All right. That technology has also been developed over a considerable period of time, according to Kelly Loeffler, the CEO. They have they they have, quote, building the factory, unquote, over the past 18 months. So they've been they knew that they were going to do this for a while. And they were getting all the infrastructure and stuff together, which is awesome. So they're, they're getting prepared. They were getting prepared before they made the announcement. And now they're ready. All right. Uh, over the past 18 months, in the in the same interview, she stated that it was built under great secrecy and the name was only decided on recently. All right. Now that you now that you have an idea of what backed is, let's take a deeper look into why it could be the panacea for the institutional investor. I don't know what that panacea or whatever the hell that name is. I don't know what that means. Back benefits for institutions. The reason that so many people are bullish about the backed ecosystem is because it is breaking down a number of key barriers to entry. These barriers have stubbornly persisted, even though other companies have tried to address them. Okay. Number one, Uh, efficient buy sell store and spend digital assets with an efficient global ecosystem seamless number two an integrated global platform for trading warehousing and, and commerce number three is security that's the big thing with these big investors they want to they want to know their investments are secure leveraging intercontinental exchange exchanges market infrastructure backed is designed to bring regulated trading clearing and warehousing all right the barrier the barriers are mainly related to security of funds, the lack of available derivative instruments, as well as the lack of large scale consumer adoption of cryptocurrencies. Security of funds. This is arguably the most important consideration for any institutional investor. Of course it is. They're scared to death. They want to dip that big toe in the water and that's what they're doing. All right. It is easy enough for a money manager to hold to tr traditional assets such as shares, bonds and commodities. It is really hard to steal these assets for for or actually lose them. However, we all know how easy it is for hackers to siphon off digital currency. Similarly, similarly, that's a tongue twister through mismanagement of private keys and loss of passwords. Cryptocurrencies can be can also be destroyed or lost forever. You only have to think about the stresses that 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 you go to in order to protect your cryptocurrency holdings of a few thousand dollars now. Imagine the scenario of you holding the hundred million in crypto in crypto of thousands of investors. Imagine the implications of catastrophic loss or hack that leads to the breach of fiduciary duty. That's a big that's a that's a big scare. That's a big factor. And, you know, making sure that do you want to enter into a segment or do are you prepared to enter into a segment? So you have to do your due diligence. And that's what they've done. All right. Imagine that the threats of lawsuits and destruction of your own otherwise stellar investing reputation. Scary thoughts indeed. It is not like there aren't any crypto custodians uh, solutions out there currently on the market. Now, when they say cryptocurrency custodians, if you don't know, uh, just recently Coinbase, you know, was trying to get a uh, 
a bill of pass, a uh, bill passed for themselves to be a custodian of cryptocurrencies. Same thing. Because they knew this was coming. So the competition is very steep for Coinbase. Coinbase for a while was the king of the castle. You know, they, ah, we don't want your, your coin on listed. You know, we're going to list these coins, which is fine. Uh, and everybody was complaining that XRP should have long been listed on, on Coinbase, but they had their own reasons. I guess they were scared that it was going to be listed as security, which it has since been not, since it, it has since not been listed as a security. So there's no other excuse for Coinbase, but it, it's irrelevant at this point. Coinbase is doing their own thing, and so is XRP. So XRP has moved on, and they don't care what Coinbase does because they're still going to blow, you know, they're going to go go to the through the roof. We already know this. We all know this. All right. Here we go. Um, you have the solution from Coinbase and Gemini. There we go. Both of which are large and established names in the cryptocurrency industry. All right. If that does not sound like a secure enough for the institutional investor, Ex Exapo Vault will store your crypto in an actual physical vault. Check that out. Hidden in Swiss bunkers, your private keys will be guarded by human and digital guards. That's pretty freaking secure. It's about as secure as anything can be. However, these solutions are not federally regulated. That means that despite the perceived security of these offerings, there, there is always a small chance that the loss can occur. There are no backstops in case of this loss. Well, here's the deal, folks. There's no guarantee on anything. There's no guarantee you're going to wake up tomorrow. There's no guarantee you're going to go to sleep tonight. There's no guarantees. So if you want guarantees, then you stay broke. You got to take a chance, folks. Believe me, I've taken many chances. I lost a lot of freaking money investing on certain this businesses and this cryptocurrency, whatever. But without great risk, there's no great reward. Remember that. All right. But this is this is this is our shot. This if you are a crypto enthusiast, if you're a crypto investor, this is your shot. Do not be a chicken. All right. I'm giving you real facts here. This is happening. So you better jump on this bus. I keep talking about jumping on the bus. This is a big ass bus and it's filling up fast. All right. All right. All right. Now that back is introducing the prospect of federally regulated warehousing, this could be slightly more palatable solution for the institutional investor than storing their private keys in a mountainside in Switzerland. Moreover, the back solution could greatly improve the sale and transfer of physical Bitcoin. Ordinarily, if they wanted to trade these securities, they would have to either do it OTC over the counter transaction or rely on an unregulated crypto exchanges. OK, there's really nothing bad about unregulated crypto exchanges. They're trying to scare you a little bit. All right. Both of these are less uh, optimal. However, if both of these institution, institutional investors had their Bitcoin stored in at backed, then the process is greatly simplified. They could make a trade on the ICE platform within seconds and then have the Bitcoin instantly transferred between their custodian accounts at backed. All right. Rather than keep reading this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this link in the description. All right. I'm so freaking stoked about this. You know, there's multiple, you know, sites that are talking about it. And this is supposed to happen sometime in November, by the way, folks. And I didn't mention that. Um, let's see if they mentioned it. Yeah, uh, it's in here. I'm just, man, my brain is just going a million miles a minute. I can't, I'm just so freaking excited about it. Um, some of you may already have heard about this, but for, for those of you who have not, and are just, you know, still kind of learning about cryptocurrency, it's going to be mainstream. So you guys better be prepared. Here's the deal. I'm going to leave that uh, link in the description. I'm also going to leave you um, a, uh, well, I'm not going to leave another link in the description. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a couple things. All right. They talked about buying Bitcoin or, or, or processing payments. Like, let's say you want to buy a coffee with your cryptocurrency. Well, you could do it on your phone. You could do it with crypto cards, which is what a lot of banks are going to start to uh, have available or your cryptocurrency will have that available. There is a company that I've talked about. I made a video about it. You need to go back and check it out. But I'm going to talk about it again. It's called Pundi, Pundi X. All right. We're going to go to it because you guys, I know this video is going to be long as hell, but oh, well, you got to understand something. This company here already makes a product that is a point of sale product. Okay. 
It's freaking awesome. All right. This Pundi device. Here we go. Boom. Here it is. This is a point of sale device that you would see at any retail establishment like Starbucks, like 7-Eleven, Target, anywhere you pay, pay for anything. 90% of people are paying with a card. All right. But here's the difference. This thing is seamlessly will integrate to, to the current platform that any company has. But not only can you pay for your, your whatever, your coffee, your water, whatever the case may be, but you can also buy cryptocurrency right there at the Starbucks. That's what they get. It's, it's, it's a working product. Works right now. In fact, it works so well. This product here is going to be used in Dubai. So the, 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 the billionaire Dubai sultans are going to be using this device for their people or whoever goes to Dubai so they can purchase cryptocurrencies. So they can do whatever. They can buy whatever they want right there. That's huge. But what's even more huge is this backed company or a blog, whatever, the like integration of both of them, whatever it is. When they pass this thing in November, this company, I promise you, is going to be a huge factor in that. So right now, it's trading for peanuts. Let's go to coin market cap. And let's look at it. Pundi. And I'm going to tell you right now. It's number 43 on core market cap and it's it's one and a half cent. One and a half cent. Here's all I know. If you don't get a buttload of this before it's too late, they got 280 billion. Yes, that's a lot. But that's not the point. The reason it's a lot is because it's meant to for, for transactions and they burn as they use. They burn as they use. Right now, there's not a lot of burning because there's not a lot of using because they've been setting up just like every cryptocurrency that has a product. They've been setting up partnerships, XRP, no, no movement really because they've been setting up partnerships. Once these partnerships are established and they are, it's a go, these institutional investors put their money in and they start injecting out that money in. They need products that work and help customers feel safe and secure about integration. That's this company here. So I'm going to tell you right now. XRP, you better be in it. I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm saying if you're smart and you want to get some skin in the game, you got to get XRP. Pundi, in my opinion, is another one you need to get. And you can get a monster amount of it. And the third one, obviously, is uh, Bitcoin. You want to get Bitcoin. Now, there's plenty of others out there that you want to be involved with. But those are your primary ones that are certainly, in my opinion, going to they're going to be big, big, big business. There's also a third one out there that I really love. That I talked about, I also made another video about. It's called Raven Coin. So you got to look at all these, look at all of them. And I know I've been rambling for a minute. I don't even know how long this video is at this point. But all I know is this huge. It's going to happen in November. And I don't know when in November, but sometime in November, this is going down. They're going to pass this, this rule, they're going to pass this law, <clears throat> and back will be in full effect. You've got, um, there's something else happening. Man, I, I just can't think of it right now. But when I think of it, I'll just make another video about it. I don't care. I love it. I love this. I love this segment. I love the, this, this, this asset class, this new asset class. I just love it because it's truly an opportunity for every regular person like me and you to have an opportunity to change our lives forever. Our children's lives, our children's children's lives. So get on board, get on that bus, and I'll see you guys in the next video.